Hello and welcome back. So as we mentioned in the video about time signatures and measures, we are in the time signature of 4-4, where a measure is equal to one whole note. But what we're going to discover is that we can get new notes by having. So we are going to ask ourselves, what is one half of a whole note? If you guessed a half note, you would be correct. A half note is equal to one half of a measure, or one half of a whole note. And because one half plus one half equals a whole, a whole note is also equal to two half notes. We can also write this mathematically. We can say two halves equals one whole, or one. We can also say two halves is an equivalent fraction to one. Equivalent just means equal. But because equivalent fractions are everywhere in music, we're going to talk about them a lot. So now that we know that one half of a whole note is a half note, what about half of a half note? To help us figure this out, we are going to think of our measure or our whole note like a dollar, a one dollar bill. We're going to exchange this one dollar bill for four quarters. That's going to represent our whole note. And we're going to take half of our whole note and when we do that we get a half note and we're going to take half of our four quarters and we get two quarters now we're going to take half again and when we do that we're left with one quarter and we're left with that half of a half note which believe it or not is actually called a quarter note now i want to make sure you don't walk away with the wrong idea here a quarter note is actually called a quarter note because it is one quarter or one-fourth of a whole note. I wish that I got a quarter every time I saw a quarter note, because then it would be like, cha-ching, but nope, that's not the actual case. So because a quarter note is a quarter or one-fourth of a whole note, it takes four of them to equal a whole note. And remember that a whole note is equal to two half notes, so four quarter notes equals two half notes as well. Again, we can write this mathematically. We can say four quarters equals two halves, which equal one whole. And ding, 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 here we go with equivalent fractions. But we're not done yet. We can still half our quarter note or even quarter this quarter note to get more notes. But to help us do this, we're going to go back to our whole note and we're going to think of our whole note as a pie. That's right, a pie. When we slice our pie in half, or we slice our whole note in half, we get two pieces. We're going to get two half notes. Slicing this pie in half again, we get four pieces, or four quarter notes. One more time, we're going to slice this pie in half, and when we do that, we're going to find what half of a quarter note actually is. When we slice each piece in half, we're left with eight pieces. And because one slice of this pie is one-eighth of the pie, we call this note the eighth note. We can slice this pie in half one more time and get a smaller note. And when we do this, we get 16 slices of pie. And that's why we call this one a 16th note. 16 sixteenths equals 8 eighths, which equal 4 quarter notes, which equal 2 half notes, which equal 1 whole note. Whew, that's a mouthful. But it all comes back to equivalent fractions. So let's review. Equivalent fractions are fractions that are equal to each other. A whole note is equal to one measure. It's also equal to two half notes, four quarter notes, eight eighth notes, and 16 sixteenth notes. We can also write this mathematically. One equals two halves, which equal four quarters, which equal eight eighths, which equals 16 16.